I'm Larry King. We're about to go into a unique television world. Stage 11, Warner Brothers, Burbank, California. Home to the hit series ER. You can watch ER on TNT every night, Monday through Friday, at 7 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. The doctor leads the way. Through this door, we pass into the annals of television history. One of the most successful shows ever done. ER, about an emergency room in Chicago. This is the set, and you're going to meet the entire cast. Not only that, you're going to be able to call in and talk to them. Yes, it's ER, live on TNT. the cast of ER, you must have spent the past few years in a coma. Somebody physically go up to the OP and drag somebody down here. Dr. Mark Green was ER's chief resident when audiences first met him. Now he's the senior attending physician. Grab a cesarean tray, run. He's played by Anthony Edwards. All right, let's go. Let's red tag him to trauma two. Dr. Doug Ross is a pediatrician whose bedside manner appeals to grown women as well as little children. Ross is sometimes a heel, sometimes a hero. Hey, Wilhouse County, you told me to turn off. Tell them we're going to need a crash car on the roof now. He's portrayed by George Clooney. Now, when I call up to patients, then give me their diagnosis. No doubt about it. Removing Dr. Peter Benton's ego would be a major operation. A dedicated surgeon, Benton is played by Eric LaSalle. Okay, this isn't gonna hurt at all. Dr. John Carter showed up for his internship looking younger than Doogie Hauser, but he's matured. All contaminated patients and staff go to the ambulance bay right now. Carter is portrayed by Noah Wiley. Registered nurse Carol Hathaway wasn't supposed to survive ER's pilot. Oh my God, it is Hathaway. But this compassionate, complicated character earned a second chance at life. She's crowning! Taking the role, Juliana Margulies. Jeannie Boulet is a hardworking, hands-on physician's assistant. She's also a woman living with HIV. What was I supposed to do? Walk away. He would have died. That's the risk you assume for your patients when you continue to work here with HIV. The actress, Gloria Rubin. Go to the OR. We can explore this guy up there. Dr. Kerry Weaver followed Mark Green as ER's chief resident, and she's now chief of emergency services. Laura Innes plays Dr. Weaver. Dr. Elizabeth Corday is a fairly recent addition to the ER scene. She's a surgeon from Britain. She's portrayed by Alex Kingston. Finally, the newest member of the team. He was a firefighter? He is a firefighter. Third year medical student, Lucy Knight. The young but very experienced Kelly Martin. That's a look at the outstanding cast of ER. And they are all here. We welcome you to Larry King Meets ER. We are on the set of one of the most honored dramas around. Here with me, live members of the show's outstanding cast, Anthony Edwards, George Clooney, Eric LaSalle, Noah Wiley, Juliana Margulies, Gloria Rubin, Laura Innes, Alex Kingston, and Kelly Martin. We'll be taking your phone calls to them very shortly. The number will be flashing on the screen. We'll be showing you all around this fabulous set and interviewing each of them and taking calls as well hope you enjoy the next 90 minutes eric toughest part about working in a series like this george clooney <laughs> <laughs> would everyone agree that he makes it? No, when you when you all right juliana since eric wants to leave that alone no, what what's the toughest part about a, a series that's as intense as this one uh coming to work every day and trying to keep it fresh and exciting and not getting run over by gurneys when you're going down the hallway. Probably for me, that's the toughest. Um, just just maintaining this incredible ensemble cast and keeping the choreography going. What's the toughest for you, Noah? I think that sort of hits the nail on the head, is just juggling all the different people that are involved in making the show every week. I mean, you've got 
40 patients and 30 gurneys and, you know, 20 doctors running around, all seemingly uh, perfectly choreographed. How about the lines, Anthony, when you got all these medical terms? Is that the same as learning any other kind of copy? Well, I always, I, we always talk about it's kind of like doing a, uh, a musical because you have to not only act, but you have to sing and dance. And for us, it's the singing is the, the uh, technical dialogue, which is a whole other language for most of us uh, who studied acting in school as opposed <laughs> to medicine. And then the dance is really the choreography of the physicalness of the medicine is a real challenge. And we have two ER docs and real trauma nurses with us all the time. And, you know, when you finish a scene, you look at them and they want it right. Laura, do you think, do you get... Do you feel as Laura, not as, as Carrie, that you're in a hospital? Uh, you know, it's kind of like, um, there are times, we did a thing last week that was a very uh, graphic uh, cracking of the chest. And there are these times when you get into kind of a rhythm of doing a scene and doing the show, and especially with the oneers where we don't stop, where you have almost this feeling like you can the smell and feel and temperature of being in a hospital, you know? Those, those are kind of fun moments when you forget to act because you're so busy trying to do your job. We kidded at the beginning, Eric, but seriously, do you, do you ever think, I'm a doctor? No. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Let, me, let, me re let me rephrase that. Hell no. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be a doctor in a million years. I used to, actually, when I was a kid, I used to want to be a doctor, and... Um, I, this show just showed me, I mean, I definitely wouldn't have what, you know, what it takes. I think that, you know, the, the, the hardest thing for me is um, we made an agreement when we did the pilot that we would really try to depict the people that we play as honestly um, as possible. And I think that, you know, this profession...